Hey everybody, welcome to the workshop. It is actually New Year's Eve, last day of the year of 2017. Uh, hey, I got my palm tree light and my arrow going on. So the festivities are right here, believe me. I'm going to call this last episode of 2017 Tune Up. About a year and a half ago, I made one of my typical uh, Triple Maduro 60 by 6 box uh, cigar box guitars. It had two pickups on it, uh, the, the typical thing that I make. Anyway, it went out um, to a guitarist of a band called Mr. Airplane Man. Uh, you, I hope you know about these people. Uh, they're a two-person group out of Boston. Um, and uh, Margaret Garrett, who plays guitar in this, in this group, Mr. Airplane Man, this is a great album. Um, she got the cigar box guitar. Anyway, it was uh, it had an airplane theme. Imagine that. So it had uh, a couple of their gig posters on it. Um, these were the graphics. So we had these gig posters here, and then the headstock was another one of their graphics. So um, it went out on the road with her. It went out east uh, to Boston. It came back to LA and I had the opportunity to meet up with Margaret for a few minutes and look at a couple of things on the guitar that needed some attention about a year and a half after being bounced around out on the road. And, and uh, she does busking, she does live shows, she does recording with the guitar. And so um, let's talk a little bit about a couple of the things I had to do with that guitar. Now at the end of this clip, I'm going to uh, show you Margaret actually playing the guitar and then we'll also make sure you got links to their music and um, rumor on the street is she's actually recording some songs right now with that cigar box guitar I made her. Anyway, let's get to the workbench and see what I did. Okay, the first issue that I wanted to talk about was this mini humbucker pickup this flat pickup here we call it a coil we call it a humbucker whatever it is uh some magnets with wire wrapped around them that reads variance in the strings now these things are set up where there's screws that adjust uh how close this is to the string so you can take it up or down by adjusting these here now if those come loose that's a problem uh, if you're not watching it, you may have this side dipping lower. You may have uh, one of these come off and it starts dropping way down in there. And with every change in this, the artist may notice that there's a change in the tone of music. So if they're doing a show uh, and they're playing the same song set, the set list over and over, they're going to notice that there's a change in it. Again, anything that causes your instrument not to be trustworthy and dependable is going to put it on the wall with the rest of them so let's take a look at this and how it works and a simple little fix that you can uh, make so this isn't an issue for you okay this here looks like this out of the box of course it's a little bit different of a configuration but you basically got a chrome piece or a framework that bolts to your box that holds everything together and then you've got this screw here and this screw here which is this one and this one here a bolt excuse me that allows you to adjust this now on the inside you'll see that this uses surgical tubing uh, some of them use springs but uh, this bolt goes down into the base of the pickup yeah that's a Delta groove guitars pickup I love these things they work great and they look nice so again, how these things work is I adjust this, I tighten it, it compresses that surgical tubing, it makes this closer to the strings. Uh, likewise, if I slack this off, this gets further away from the strings. So people want to be able to adjust those. But if this ever comes out of here or starts to get sloppy and works itself loose with age, there's a problem. So, so you take one of these nuts with the a nylon insert and you put it on like so and you got a back up here and then of course you just tighten it up just enough that it allows this to still be adjusted like so but it stops this from coming out in the future a couple cents for one of these 
uh, something you need to put on your guitars right away and then you don't ever have to worry about it. Another issue was that this piece here, this ball canning lid, now we know that uh, from another video that this is actually part of grounding the strings. There's tension pins that uh, go through the, the tail piece right here. The string keepers are there. Uh, there's copper tape under here. There's copper tape under here. Uh, but I've said in those videos, it's really important in that video, it's really important that you file these corners so they don't hook on anybody. Uh, her complaint on that guitar was that this corner not only this, but this wood right here would kind of jab at her and stuff. So that was simple. Take a file and round that off. So if you're going to use this configuration or cover your tail pieces up with some of your grounding apparatus, just make sure there's nothing sharp or pointed there because if it hangs up on their clothes, it's annoying and it takes their attention away from playing. And that's what we want them doing, playing our guitar. The next issue we had was that uh, the Scarbox guitars are really, what are they, like 10 inches long? So the bodies are short uh, and given the weight of the neck, especially a full scale neck, uh, these things, the, the teeter-totter doesn't balance right for lack of a better way of putting it. So the uh, knobs we have here for the straps make it kind of awkward. So what I've done is I've made a habit of using this part of the neck as the answer. And the answer is just a piece of string uh, uh, tied back into itself like this. So you take a piece of string uh, or cord and put it, uh, put it in half, uh, half its length, and then tie a knot in it. And then we feed it under the strings like so. I'm doing this one-handed because... I've got to hold the guitar. Anyway, I'm taking this where this loop comes in from underneath. Notice that. It comes in from underneath. It's important that it comes from underneath and not over the top because here's a trick I learned in the oil field rigging around cranes. If this loop is coming in from underneath, when you cinch it up, wherever that loop is, is where it will cinch up to so it doesn't want to slip around see I can put it halfway under here and when I tighten it up it stays there I can put a carabiner on here and put it on the other end of the guitar strap and everything works good so again a couple cent piece of string looped in half with a knot tied in it cinched up where the loop comes over the top from the bottom that was an easy fix took a piece of string in a minute The last issue I want to talk about that I had with the guitar was one of the tuners had gone bad or wasn't tightening up things right. And um, I noticed as soon as uh, I looked at it that these uh, bolts here, a couple of them were a little loose. And then the answer to the perplexing question that some of us argue about on these sites is they say these gears are supposed to go down. And nobody ever seems to say, well, why they're supposed to go down. Um, I always put them on because I thought, well, in, in uh, the mechanical world, you hear the term lefty, loosey, righty, tidy when you're trying to figure out which way to turn a wrench to tighten or loosen something. So that's the mentality I was using when I built these, this guitar here. Um, well, it turns out if you take a closer look at the gear uh, and, and uh, the peg on the tuner, the answer is pretty obvious. Now, if I put this down through here, I'll use this neck that hasn't been built out. The gear is down. So when you put the string on and pull, the string is being tensioned this way. If anything, it will actually cause the force. If this goes this way, this would go this way into the threads on the tuner peg. If it's the other way, then this is going to pull this actually away from this. This will start to loosen up and get slop in it. And next thing you know, you got a tuner that won't turn or won't work. Uh, and again, dependability is key.
if the artist is on stage trying to tune the guitar and this won't work one time of that and they've about given up kind of want to show you up close here the camera stays uh, clear and doesn't blur out if you look at this you can see that that part is bent up meaning the tuner has been pulled and released itself away from this wheel here by being pulled this way and you can see that that was the problem so that's it uh, open gear closed gear either way gear down so when the string is being pulled back towards the bridge it's pulling against the gear you won't have so many problems and then always make sure that these and these are tight hey can you hear my neighbor's tractor in the background there yeah that adds to the rural flavor of my videos don't you love it anyway i want to leave you with this these tuners we all know them we love them uh, they're economical they make our builds economical for people that want them we can get our guitars out on the market uh, but after a while you got to figure out is this going to be used every day for a long period of time are these things going to crack when they come off um, do you want the bending and stuff that goes on with some of these or is it time especially on your stuff that's going to be more durable need to be more durable uh, that's going to be used more frequently to go to a different type tuner one that doesn't have plastic pieces and is, is encased and stuff like that so something to think about guys don't be afraid uh, to ask what your guitars are worth all right those were some fairly simple things to fix uh, but of course, if they're not fixed, they turn into big problems. And I'm always telling you, dependability in the guitars you build are critical to an artist wanting to use them consistently and trusting them enough to do so. So don't be afraid to check in with the people who have your guitars and find out is there something that you could have done differently. You know, this is a learning process. Anyway, um, let's have a look at Margaret playing that guitar. This is a special treat for me. It's always a treat to have someone play your guitar. And then look at the bottom below down in the comments and I'll give you a link to how to access their music of course if uh, there's an EP coming out of slide guitar music on my cigar box I'm gonna let you know that on my channel as well as always I appreciate your likes your comments and your subscriptions to my channel remember if you click subscribe you'll get a notification on your phone as soon as my videos come out so let's go ahead and have a look at Margaret playing my cigar box guitar